दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट 2019 थाउजेंड नाइनटीन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पेपर सेट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फोर फाइव जॉब्स जे वन जे टू जे थ्री जे फोर एंड जे फाइव नीड टू बी प्रोसेस्ड इन अ फैक्ट्री ईच जॉब कैन बी असाइन टू एनी ऑफ द फाइव डिफरेंट मशीन एम वन एम टू एम थ्री एम फोर एंड एम फाइव द टाइम ड्यूरेशन टेकन इन मिनट्स बाय द मशीन फॉर ईच ऑफ द जॉब्स आर गिवन इन द टेबल हाव एवर ईच जॉब इज असाइन टू अ स्पेसिफिक मशीन इन सच अ वे that the total processing time is minimum the total processing time is dash minutes so we need to make the assignments of the jobs to the particular machines in such a way that the total processing time should be minimum and then we have to find out that total processing time that will be our answer so let's find out now in this problem we'll be using the hungarian algorithm so we'll start by row reduction in this first step what we do is we subtract minimum of each of the rows from every element of the row so the first row changes into 40 minus 30 that is 10 30 minus 30 0 50 minus 30 20 again 50 minus 30 20 and 58 minus 30 is 28 similarly the other rows will be you can pause the video and cross check your answer cross check what matrix you are getting with this matrix now in the next step we will have to do a column reduction because we need to make allotments of the jobs to the particular machine so in next step we have column reduction same thing again subtracting the minimum of a column from every element so in the first column we have minimum is 0 therefore the column remains same so 10 0 16 0 6 in second column also minimum is 0 so it remains same in the third column however the minimum value is not 0 it is 4 So subtracting four from each of the elements, we get sixteen, thirty, zero, eight, twelve. In the next column, again the same thing. Zero is the minimum, so twenty, zero, zero, four, zero. And in the last column, six is the minimum. So let's subtract six from each of the elements. We have twenty-eight minus six, twenty-two. Next element is six, zero, fourteen, and sixteen. Now we'll make the allotments. because optimum solution to this reduced matrix will be same as the optimum solution to this given matrix whatever allotment we will get for column reduced matrix will be the same for the given matrix and then corresponding time values we can add to get the total processing minimum time so let's make the allotments we'll start from the first row so this is zero the minimum element of this row and therefore the job j1 will be assigned to machine m2 this is how we have to do for rest of the jobs but one thing you have to remember that no two jobs can be assigned to the same machine so this is a rule also no two machines can be assigned for the same job so there has to be a unique job machine combination one to one combination no multiples allowed let's continue with allotments so in the second row we have two zero values now that in the first row we have made the allotment we cannot allot any of the other jobs to m2 so we'll have to cancel out this column also we cannot allot j1 again to any of the machines and therefore we'll cancel out the row as well coming to the next row we have these two elements left so 0 and 0 we don't know which one to choose so just leave it for now coming to the third row same thing the fourth one this is the zero and is in the unallotted column so we can allot this then coming to the next row again zero is here we can allot this so we have made three allotments j1 to m2 j4 to m1 and j5 to m4 but still two jobs and two machines are remaining those allotments we need to make so we'll go column wise now in the first column we already allotted zero we cannot allot the another zero here therefore moving to the next one same thing again moving to the next this column is still unallotted so we can allot the zero j3 job to machine 3 now allotting the last machine m5 job that is remaining is j2 but the minimum here is zero which we cannot allot now and therefore we have four allotments at this stage but we need to make five and therefore 
this allotment is not acceptable we will have to further make some changes make some operations on this column reduced matrix and then reallot the jobs to the machines so in the next step what we are going to do is we will have to tick the unallotted rows so let's just first cancel out all the allotted rows and columns so we'll start by ticking the unallotted row unallotted row here is this one is there any other unallotted row no because this row is also allotted all of them are allotted second one is the only unallotted row now we need to go to the corresponding column so in here we have zero here and zero here we will have to tick the columns in which zeros of these row belong so we ticked first column and the fourth column then again we have to repeat this thing so in this particular column wherever there is another zero we have to tick those rows so here is a zero we tick this row here is a zero we tick this row now again we have to recheck in the ticked rows is there any zero in any other zero it's not there so we will stop the ticking now we have 1 2 3 rows ticked and 1 and 2 columns ticked what we have to do is we need to identify the minimum element in the unallotted row other than zero so it is 6 now we need to draw lines through the unticked rows and ticked columns so the first one is a unticked row ignore the older green lines only concentrate on the light blue lines now this is the unticked row first one and third one is also a unticked row ticked columns are first column and fourth column in these crossed rows and crossed columns mark the common elements so this is a common element 10 this 20 this 16 this 0 that's all these are the four common elements we have to add 6 to these common elements so whichever are circled in this color we have to add 6 to them then we have to subtract 6 from all remaining elements so those that are not crossed we have to subtract 6 from these all these elements 12 30 6 12 8 14 again remember concentrate only on the blue lines not on the green ones so these are all the non crossed elements we have to subtract 6 from them and others we keep as it is so this 0 remains 0 16 remains 16 22 remains 22 similarly 10 will remain the same 0 will remain the same 0 will remain the same and in the columns also similarly 0 0 6 will remain the same and 0 4 0 will remain the same others we need to perform these two operations the circled ones we have to add 6 and the underlined ones we have to subtract 6 let's write the new obtained matrix after performing these operations so we'll have the new matrix will be 10 plus 6 16 0 16 20 6 26 and here it will be 22 i'll write down all the rows you can cross check the or answer so we have 0 6 24 Zero zero third row twenty two ten zero six zero zero six two four eight and last one six four six zero ten. Now we can make the final allotments. So same as we did in the step three, we have to make the allotments again. We allot zero, then leave this multiple zeros. Leave this row also multiple zeros. Then we allot this zero. and the last row we allot this zero then coming to the columns first column allotment is done second it is done third this is the zero that will be allotted and in the last column we have two zeros but we cannot allot from this row so we will allot from this row and that is this zero so we have five allotments as we have five jobs and five machines to combine together and therefore we get our corresponding allotment here elements in the original matrix corresponding to these zeros are 30 this one's 38 this one's 28 this one's 28 and this is 22 so these those are written in blue color are processing times corresponding to the allotment that we have made and this much time will be required for each of the jobs to be performed on those corresponding machines like to perform j1 on machine 2 it will take 30 minutes similarly to perform job 2 on machine 5 it will take 38 minutes and so on so these are the actual processing times 
विच वी हैव गॉड फ्रॉम आवर अलॉटमेंट ऑल अदर प्रोसेसिंग टाइम्स आर नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट टू अस नाउ बिकॉज वी हैव ऑलरेडी मेड आर अलॉटमेंट एंड देर फॉर वी विल एड दीज टाइम्स इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द ऑप्टिमम प्रोसेसिंग टाइम सो विल हैव ऑप्टिमम प्रोसेसिंग टाइम टी विल बी इक्वल टू थर्टी प्लस थर्टी एट प्लस ट्वेंटी एट प्लस ट्वेंटी एट प्लस ट्वेंटी टू दिस गिव्स अस आंसर एज टी इक्वल टू वन फोर्टी सिक्स मिनट्स सो द ऑप्टिमम प्रोसेसिंग टाइम इज वन फोर्टी सिक्स मिनट्स लेट्स गो बैक एंड फिल इन दिस आंसर here the total processing time is 146 minutes to learn more about hungarian algorithm you can refer to the nptel video lecture 16 assignment problem hungarian algorithm it's from the course fundamentals of operation research the course is by professor g shrinivasan he is from department of management studies of iit madras i hope this solution will help you clear your doubt thank you